A very good morning to traders from United World Capital and Cyprus. Markets continue to fall yesterday, both in Europe and in the United States. This trend uh, is followed up in Asia this morning, where markets also are uh, down to, uh, to the lows for several weeks. Uh, the reason for the uncertainty and nervousness in the market are the fear for the fiscal cliff in the United States. Uh, investors are very worried that the Congress should not be able to reach a compromise before then the inauguration of the new president and of the new Congress next year. Also, of course, there are worries about the situation inside the Eurozone where there were dramatic, dramatic pictures from Athens uh, on uh, uh, Wednesday and Thursday, uh, riots between then, riot police in fights with demonstrators, use of tear gas and water cannons. The Greek parliament approved uh, the, uh, the austerity measures with a very small majority, 153 out of 150 votes needed. But this seems nevertheless not to be uh, enough for skeptics within the Eurozone. The uh, German Minister of Finance, who is a very strong uh, and decisive uh, politician, said that the emergency measures in itself were not enough. That means that the euro is under strong pressure again. It's now trading on 127.50 against the dollar. The dollar is slightly up in, uh, uh, on the uh, dollar index against major uh, currencies. The yen is strengthened. It is now 79.50. Means that uh, investors are again seeking to yen as a safe haven. The same is the situation with gold, which have increased dramatically over the last week, up $50 from, uh, from Monday's trading, uh, today trading at a level of 1735. Uh, the gold is strengthened due to inspectors, to investors' expectations that both the um, Federal Reserve and the European Central Bank would start to print more and more money. Oil prices are stable from yesterday after falling dramatically this week from 110, 111 level to 107. Copper prices are also up. I wish all of you a good trading day from Cyprus and a good weekend.